Okay, guess what? It's nighttime now, and I am still out here. I just went to Walmart to buy this headlamp thing so I could continue. Um, I have a pile of giant pile of cardboard, a really cool pile of stuff that I'm excited about, and um, I actually just went and got a SIM card because something crappy happened. My, um, my phone memory got used up so I could no longer record and my computer cord usually what I do when my phone gets uh, full of when my phone memory gets full I transfer it all onto my computer so I can keep recording this time however my computer um, adapter has kaputzed on me it has died so I cannot use my laptop at the moment uh, so I gotta go get another cord for that that sucked so I just had to go to the store and get a SD card. Anyways, take a look at this giant mess of a disaster. Take a look at it with me. Try not to, I'll try not to blind you. Okay, so all this is garbage. All those bags, we got like five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 27 bags right there. A lot of them are just uh, grocery bags full of stuff. Then we got cardboard. So there's a donation place around here that will take cardboard. This is all cardboard. This mountain of cardboard here. Cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. Thank God that it's free to donate that. We got some newspapers. There's newspapers in there. You can donate newspapers for free. Donate the newspapers. And then we got more garbage over here. Now I... I actually thought I was done with this and then I decided to go a little deeper and just pull every 50 cent and dollar item out. Just everything. And I picked it to the bare bones. There's literally nothing in here that is worth selling. This is actually some GameStop stuff that is not worth selling. I pulled that. I, I uh, raid the GameStop dumpster at night or all the time actually. And uh, this is just some stuff that I acquired that's not worth anything. But we also got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know, like 15, 16 boxes of gar uh, garbage I'm gonna have to get rid of. So we're gonna have to figure that out. There is a dump around here. I'm not sure how much it costs, but this is the most garbage I've ever had to deal with at one time. Okay, we also got this. Now I told them if I find any uh, photos, any personal photos, then I would, uh, I would give that to them. And this bag is just full of all sorts of personal photos. And I'm going to bring that back to them. So, you know, let's go ahead and take a look at what I found that's really interesting. And my next video, I'm actually going to show you what of this stuff is actually worth money. Because I need to research a lot of it. So you probably already saw some of it. And you're going to uh, remember it. We got that breath analyzer thing. Now, I, like I said, I haven't researched any of this stuff. Um, we got this Chuck, Chuck Norris action figure. We got this rotary power tool shaper router table that's brand new. We got these little um, basket. Oops. Well, I see spider. I'm seeing spiders everywhere now. We got these uh, baseball bats. We got this Def Leppard shirt. I got four Def Leppard shirts. Or, excuse me, maybe I got like three Def Leppards and one Van Halen, something like that. We got this interesting um, cup. Poro, something like that. We got a vintage blank cassette tape sealed. Some of these are worth money. I don't think this is. It's a Radio Shack. It's usually the Japanese ones, but I'm going to check that out anyways. We got this old 35mm uh, single-use camera with film and flash. We got this interesting book here. It's actually a comic book, How an Economy Grows and Why It Doesn't. It's a comic and over here we got a bunch of awesome stuff. We got this uh, ink toner, brand new sealed ink toner. We got a bunch of those, three of them, or f uh, two, five, five of them. We got some uh, uh, Unisonic remote uh, answering machines. This thing is for an old computer. I don't even know what it is. Avatix. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to check it out. We got this motor for a donut machine, which could possibly be worth three or four hundred. But I need to do a bunch more research on it. Got this interesting golf club. Callaway Warbird. Great Big Bertha golf club head. Got another answering machine. Exact same one. We got this weird looking pair of glasses. And over here. Okay. Any Ninja Turtle fans, you're going to lose your mind. 
it's not i mean it's not su anything super expensive but we did get some ninja turtle stuff i was hoping for some figures but no no figures we got this old this is from 1990 and it's an old uh, ninja turtles kids shirt it is from 1990 where does it say yeah 1990 mirage studio or wait is that 80 i don't know it's hard to tell it might be 80s 90 90s or 80s anyways it's mirage studios and yeah really cool little kids shirt we got a uh, ninja turtles printed tissue and we got a, a vintage 1990 cereal bowl a Raphael. 1990 awesome and the crown of the ninja turtle lot is this really cool jacket it's an old satin jacket let's see here uh somebody unfortunately wrote their name on here yes darn you logan uh but it's made by chalkline and this thing is probably worth about 50 bucks i you know what the only one up I saw was 100 bucks, so I'm going to make a lot of all that stuff and sell it for 100 bucks for a lot of it. We got Windows uh, 3.0. Oh, come on. The whole box just literally fell apart. That was unbelievably ridiculous. Okay. Um, let me fix my light here real quick. I love this headlamp so far. That just absolutely sucked. I couldn't believe that. So these old... I actually have a couple more of these. Try to keep my camera out of the light. That's a pain in the butt. Okay, so some of these old Windows things, I, I noticed like Windows 95 in the box, if it works, is worth like 50 bucks. I don't know about 3.0. I have not done research on that, but that would be awesome if that's worth the same. We got that vintage pink Panther doll. We got a Muppets Take Manhattan. I think this is a record actually with a book. It's like a talking storybook and it's sealed. So that's awesome. Uh, think pink pink panther we got this really cool ghostbusters lcd game that's awesome i'm a huge fan of lcd games we got a bunch of hot wheels actually sealed hot wheels there was not really any hot wheels that weren't sealed but there was like five or six that were we got these cool uh california raisin dolls they're bendy ones and these are in a naughty position who did that gosh darn it we got this rca antenna I have no idea about it, but I thought it looked interesting, so I set it aside, and I think that goes with it. I've got another Hot Wheel. We got a uh, rotary power tool router attachment. We got, um, what was this? Oh, yeah, vintage, a really old vintage um, T-shirt, Bulls, Chicago Bulls shirt. thought it looked interesting, official fan. There was some cool shirts, so I also kept out this old vintage 7-Up T-shirt. This is really cool. It's got spot on it. Spot. Does it say 7-Up on the label? I can't really read that. Yeah, I can't read who it's made by. It's super washed out. Is that the one I already looked at? No, those are two more Hot Wheels. Got this old vintage uh, Goofy. I almost called him Snoopy. And we got a bunch of computer stuff. I actually do not have the computer stuff here. I put it inside. Oh, we got this old Wonder bread uh ho or wonder wonder bread hostess hot wheels and this uh sealed uh, cassette tape warmer side of cool wang chung any sealed cassette tapes i always keep aside and check them out just in case we got this fanny pack harley davidson fanny pack i don't know anything about that but i always check out harley davidson stuff because it is bank gosh i got to find another box. Okay, I got a Polaroid. I got a Polaroid camera. Now, I've never found those before, but I think... Are these the ones that are worth some money? I got two of these. These are the ones that, like, take take the cam the picture instantly. Now, I, I also got this weird grip thing. Power built. I don't know what this is for, but it looks interesting, so I thought I'd look it up. And there's another Hot Wheel. Okay, we do have some more stuff. We got that Whammo Frisbee. We got this Unisonic XL131. Is this like a cash register or what? I forget what this thing does. We got this old Kenmore vacuum cleaner. Boom. We got a phone in the box. I don't know if that's the right box for that actually 
Versicad. I have no idea what this Versicad thing is, but since I don't know what it is, I thought I'd check it out. I got a, uh, what is this? What are you? A Hewlett Packard toner cartridge. Brand new. I've got a bunch of these things. I'm going to have to check these out. I don't know what they are. But uh, they are some sort of clips. Some sort of clips in there, and there's a whole ton of them. So sometimes little tiny things like that, well, not worth anything singly. If you have a whole bunch, you can sell them as a lot and make a bunch of money. What's in here? Oh. I don't think I even went through this. Oh, no, okay, yeah, this is really cool. I forgot about this. Um, dictionary. This is a bunch of old computer magazines. Commodore magazines. And these have a good chance of being worth something. Some old family computing Commodore microcomputers. Run. Run. Now, a lot of these had, like, programs for you to uh, put into your computer to make your own games. I believe that a lot of the these had those. So, I think these might be worth a few bucks. And believe it or not, we still have more stuff. Now, I paid 60 bucks for everything you see here. Although, it did take me three days of going through all that stuff. So, yeah, three days. It took me, well, about half a Sunday... And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, most of those days was spent searching through and trying to figure out what to do with all this stuff. So, um, yeah, here's a book with 25 flower prints. We got those Super Nintendo games. We got uh, this book that's sealed. Don't know anything about it. This was an interesting, this was just an inter interesting shirt here. It's made by uh, Gotcha. And it's like a psychedelic gotcha print. It's from 1992, I think. A lot of the time, these psychedelic prints go for some... Or 95, excuse me. Those go for some money. Uh, we got another pair of weird glasses. We got a bunch of these little Snoopy figurines. Thought I'd check them out, see if they're going for any money. We got Super Mario World and um, uh, Bill Lambert's Combat Basketball for the Super Nintendo. Now, I know uh, Super Mario World's worth like 15 bucks or something. Uh, Johnny Lang, li uh, Lie to Me. Dr. Earl Mendel's. Oh, we got a bunch of these Dr. Earl Mendel books. A whole bunch, actually. Like you can see, I probably got like 20 of them. Now, they go for like 4 or 5 bucks a piece shipped. But in a lot, I don't know, I think maybe like 30 or 40 bucks. I got this sealed knife by Bronco. Got a um, Maxim steel knife in there. Looks brand new. That's really awesome. We got this... Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know why I put it in here. Brand new Maxell micro floppy disk. We got a Batman puzzle stickers. I got everything in here, man. I don't know what that thing was. Um, yeah, I got this. A little... Oh, my back. One second. Oh, man. Um, a little cast for a little kid. And I already saw that. Was this thing? Oh yeah, it's like a little iron, a travel iron, Maro travel iron. They put it in here, that's not what it's supposed to go in, but there it is. We got this interesting old alarm clock by Toastmaster. I thought that was kind of interesting. And we got this. Um, let me get this thing open here. One second. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is, but, um, yeah, that comes out, and then you got, like, that in there, and then, uh, this unscrews, and it's got, like, a little pin. I have no idea what that is. And we have a, what is this? That's something I don't know what it is. It looks interesting, though. And, believe it or not, it's still not it. We got... Boom. This is really cool. This is one of the coolest finds I've found in here. It's a big ladle, like for soup. I'm pretty sure. It's either for that or like pouring metal or something, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, Holland's Erie USA. Stainless steel. Super cool. We got this. Oh, this is cool. Here, I'm actually going to open this up. We got a Ugly Kid... Here. Ugly Kid Joe on one side. 
This is definitely an 80s poster. And we got Megadeth on the other side. And this thing's like brand new. It's just a tiny little poster, but super cool. Let's see. I'd like to see what year it is. Yeah, I don't know. I got this binder with a bunch of card sleeves. I was really happy to get this actually because I'm going to start selling stickers at the flea market pretty soon. And I'm going to display my stickers in this thing. So that was a stroke of luck. And I got some little things in there. Got a part to an old PC computer. Oh, we got some old porn. And um, I got some stuff for my canopy. That was awesome. Got some old Kodak Gold unused uh, film. There's another one of those Snoopy. Oops. You can see that. Let me put that back in there. Boom. You gotta see that all. Hope I wasn't pointing up too much. Or down. Was I pointing up? I think I was pointing up too much. There we go. And we got this interesting mirror here. True to Light Mirror by um, Clairol. And that's still not all. We still got more stuff. We got this. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what this is. But it looks really cool, so I'm going to have to do some research on it. We got a NASCAR car. Got to scan that sucker. We got another NASCAR thing. This is a collectible tin. There's something inside it. It's brand new sealed. And we got this thing. What are you? Cut a circle too. I guess it cuts circles. Cool. Oh, and this is actually almost too... This is a Nova hat. Vintage Nova hat. It's really in rough shape, but I thought I'd take a look at it, see if it's worth anything. It's got these interesting plates. Uh, Courier and Ives. And we got a cool cowboy uh, bareback brown rider from 19... What was it? 74. Now, I just saw this. This is really cool, and I may start doing this at the flea market if all the parts are here. I don't know anything about it, but this is a set for making pins, like uh, badge pins. Badge a minute. I don't know how to use it, and I don't know if all the parts are here or not, but there's a bunch of stuff in here, and that would be really cool if I could make my own pins and sell them at the flea market. Yeah, that's awesome. That is super cool. And that's all the really cool stuff. You know what? I'm going to show you. Oh, you know what? Wait, one second. I got this. I can't remember what this thing is called, unfortunately. But I got that. I know that's worth a few bucks. There's a box with a bunch of dollar stuff. I got, I think I got like four heaters or something like that. Okay, now we're going to look in the back of my truck. And... This box, this box, and this box are all from that lot, and they're, that's all vinyl that I need to scan through, and it's mostly all classic rock, so that's really awesome. And then when we're looking in here, get ready for this. Okay, that stuff on that side I already had. All that was mine already. Now, this whole left side over there is all from that lot. Now, everything over there is worth at least 50 cents each. And it's just jam all those boxes are jam-packed full of 50 cent and dollar items. And then uh, there's some back there as well. So f up from 50 cents up to like there's a few items that are worth like 10 bucks that I can sell at the flea market. But mostly 50 cent and dollar stuff. Maybe a few $3 and $5 stuff. But um, yeah, that is it. Now i got to deal with all this cardboard. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this. This is the clothes. All right, this, I already had that. That is old. I need to fix that. There's something wrong with that vacuum cleaner. I need to fix it because it's worth like 70 bucks in good condition. So I also got all this clothes. I think I'm actually just going to get rid of these clothes because I pulled out the cool t-shirts and so forth. Um, yeah, I, don't, I didn't see some of the shirts I wanted to show you actually. Some of the, uh, I had like a Van Halen shirt or something. But, yeah, I think I'm actually going to just donate all of this clothes because I don't really like messing with clothes unless they're really expensive or really easy to list. Or I can sell them at the flea market. It's, at the flea market, they only go for like 50 cents or a dollar. 
But yeah, I got a bunch of them. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to go and check out how much this stuff is worth and get rid of all this cardboard. And uh, I got a bunch of work ahead of me. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Peace out, guys. Okay, real quick. I actually forgot that I put some of the good stuff in here already. I'm just loading it all in here. I'm going to pull it out tomorrow morning and do some more research on it. So we also got this data show um, 480 projection pad. Sorry, that's all I can open it right now. But, uh, oops. Well, yeah, there you go. Don't know what it is, but we'll check it out. Okay, so that did not come from this. That is some GameStop stuff. There goes there. And you get some cool pencils. I'm going to be using those. Those are Hot Wheels. A uh, little hose clamp that goes in with the rest of the dollar and 50 cent stuff. So Life Magazine, uh, Churchill's Memoirs, and uh, 1950 and 1949. People look cool looking old life books. This really cool uh, ET picture activity book. I'm pretty sure this is completely unused. Yeah, it looks unused. An old Alcoholics Anonymous book. Now, I don't know if that's worth any money, but I have run into something that had, a book that had something to do with Alcoholics Anonymous that was worth a bunch of money, so we'll see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lady Schick brush thing. I don't even know what this is, but it looks vintage and old. Air Styler. Really cool looking. Oh, got a penthouse. Pardon me. Some of the, those old uh, vintage porn is worth money, so pick it up. Now this, I can't even believe. One second here. Okay, what I was saying is I can't even believe that this thing exists. Oh, come on. Okay, I guess I gotta stand up and show you. Um, it is a Three Musketeers towel. Three Musketeers beach towel. <laughs> I believe... Sorry. I believe that that was from the Disney movie. Yeah. Oh, here is the t-shirts that I was looking for. Uh, Def Leppard tour shirt. That's awesome. Yeah, these are in rough shape, but, oops. Man, I suck at aiming the camera. And we got this uh, Def, another Def Leppard all over shirt. This is really cool. It's got stuff all over the place. Boom. And what is this? Oh, this is a uh, Harley Davidson t shirt. Harley Davidson. Now, I find Harley Davidson shirts a lot, but this one looks a little older than usual. What is it? Oh, 1989. So, yeah, it's an older Harley Davidson shirt. And Def Leppard. I thought I had Van Halen, I guess. Wait. Yeah, I thought I had Van Halen, but I guess not. I was wrong. Uh, Def Leppard. Let's see, what year is this? 1992. I suppose a rock's out of the question. Got his bag with a, a, um, like a fox hair or some sort of fake fur coat. And last... In this box, we got Ernie, a vintage Ernie doll. Roll that back in. We are still not done. We got a, a brand new Lexmark X2470M. Don't know how much that's worth. And we got this. Uh, M NX 1000 multi font printer. Both of those are brand new still, so that's really cool. And last but not least, we got this really cool book, McBroom's Ear. I don't think this is worth anything, but this is one of my favorite books ever. If you've never read McBroom, this is one of the best 
uh, kids books of all time. The only kids book that's better is Fox and Socks. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace out again. Okay, well, I completely missed this box. And I'll show you the stuff out here. Um, this is the saddest thing ever. You could have seen it in the previous video if you watched that. It is a vintage Grateful Dead shirt from 1993 that somebody just tore up and ripped up. And I'm going to do research on it. Hopefully that was supposed to be like that. We got this old uh, Cable America t-shirt. I always check out vintage t-shirts. And we got this uh, Pro Orthopedic Services hinged knee support. A lot of that stuff goes for some good money. Finish line chocolate chip cookie. That's probably not worth anything, but... There it is, and we got this uh, brand uh, air press massager. I believe that's new in there, but it's just kind of squished. Air press massager. So I'm gonna check that out, see if it's worth any money. Adios, guys.